Welcome back to the channel. As I promised you guys on the last video, we have something exciting happening today. We got an under big install happening here. And let me just introduce you the bike and the lady who owns the bike. Hi, my name is Shelly and we are going to put some new hard bags on my 2005 Fat Boy and I am super excited. And here's the crew. <laughs> and like Shelly said, let me introduce you to the crew, who we got here. <laughs> Hi, I'm Julia. I don't know if I can help with something. <laughs> I will just support. <laughs> and of course, Julia is with Mr. Silvan on his beautiful 2022 Roguelite Limited. And we got Mr. Silvan, who is going to be our How chief mechanic today. <laughs> yeah, count on me. <laughs> and then I believe he's actually first time on this channel and look how cool he looks on his bike can you introduce yourself I'm John I'm on this 96 soft tail blacked out cholo style enjoying a day of riding yeah that's right so John can you say what you all did to your bike ah new rims bars blacked out all the parts all powder coated what else Got my uh, whip for Sylvan later. <laughs> yeah. All right, guys. This is the crew for today. So we're going to start the install, and uh, Shelly is going to start with opening the box. All right. So, Shelly, what do we got? We got the bags, and we who we got them from? We got these bags from Nasty Hogs, and they came in. Um, uh, Nasty Hog is out of Sacramento. Sacramento. California. I'm really excited about opening these up, so I'm going to hand this over to you. All right, here we go. All I've right, guys. Seen a, so, guys, here we are opening the bags like that. to actually check out her brand new bags. Once again, it's from Nasty bag. Nasty Hog yep. out of Sacramento, nasty California. Hog. Nasty Hog. <laughs> nasty Hog. And check it out we what go. we got oh, in oh, here. Oh. Hey, look. All nicely uh, packed Let's up. Let's not lose the keys. <laughs> we got That's keys. Legendary. This is right. <laughs> <laughs> Something that I do on a regular. Yeah. Okay. Okay, you want to so, hold that, Julia? Yeah, I can. Okay, yeah. well, oh. I'm going to hand that to you, Soler. What is this? I don't know. Hey, am I supposed I know to what know? This is. Yeah. I know what this is. <coughs> what is that? Ooh, look at this is like getting a Fendi bag. <gasps> right? Just only for your Harley. <laughs> oh, look at that. Look at the nice packing job they do on these things. I know. Absolutely and, gorgeous oh, packing job. So they came job. like that, so already powder coated, all we, flat we got black. Some, uh, foam. And we got actually a bag in there as well. Check Let's put this out. thing here. Hey, wow. Wow, look at this. Look at this thing. This is exciting. Look at. Alrighty, so we did all the unpacking here. And Sylvain is just going to show us the, the quality of the products. And I have to say, I'm really impressed with him. Sylvain, take it from here. Yes, it's quite something, isn't it, Eddie? Look at the quality and finish of this. Beautiful, ready to go. The color match. These are very nice. Uh, we ordered a set of uh, black hardware. It came with both, actually. Already done. Actually, let me just uh, quickly show it. So we ordered the black ones, but the chrome were installed. But in case we want to, or Shelly wants to switch it later on, check it out, guys. They already sent the black version as well. So perfectly. And now let's just look at the inside there, Sylvan. We were actually both, yeah. or all of us, look including Shelly, really impressed with the quality. The liner. And even check out, it comes with liners and everything as well. So beautiful liners in there. And show us the key, Sylvan, or <laughs> actually the lock as well. The lock, yes, of course. You know, same as same as you would have on the same as you would have on the motor company ones. But yeah, absolutely, it comes with three keys as well. Yeah, and uh, she will be able to. There you go. We got it. Yeah, and then we can unlock them. And so. we also have all the hardware required and the railings right here as well. That's going to go on the bike in the back. And again, it comes with all the hardware. And there's even the spare, uh, the spare rails spare underneath dampers. the back, the, the toppers as well, so the bags won't scratch up or anything. Alrighty, let's get ready for the install. Oh, so we got everything started to set up here. And uh, Sylvan, go ahead and explain what we all have uh, for tools uh, to do the install on the railings at this point. Yes. So what we have Eddie, here, we got our uh, we have our screws that are going to be in place to secure the railing. 
Uh, for this, you'll need a um, Allen 8 mil, so a rather large one. But of course, yeah, we need to secure uh, the parts nicely. Uh, we also have some number 10 metric screws, which are going to be used through this process. A few washers, spacers, so all the hardware comes with it. Of course, we have a red tread lock, which we'll need to secure the bag. Um, uh, Shelly is quite experienced at losing those bags. She tends to leave parts on the highway. Um, I would blame for that the lack of tread locker. So today we're going to ensure that we do that. Alrighty, so we started to line up the railing just to make sure we have it all set and uh, making sure, of course, the parts fit. So, Sylvan, what are we up to? Well, we're just uh, attaching the bottom bracket here. As you see, we put the spacer uh, behind the bracket. We need a certain space to clear uh, and align the rack so for the bag to be all symmetrical both sides. Uh, we have a washer. We have, like I said, our larger uh, um, screw, uh, Allen screw here. So I took the time to put some red tread locker prior to um, attaching it, securing it. So. Here we go. Uh, it's been ratcheted in place. It's been screwed in place. Uh, you know, we're probably looking, I would say, oh, close to 50 pounds square inch on this, just by the, uh, the manual, uh, manometer or not manometer. How do we call that? The, uh, the torque wrench, the, the torque manual wrench. torque wrench, right? We're looking at about 50 psi, I would say here. Um, and of course, because Sylvain is our chief mechanic, uh, he has that uh, basically in his wrist. So <laughs> click, 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 beep, 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 and uh, it and was 50 pounds, right? It was right? 50 pounds, yes. And now with the tread lock, like I said, there is. Uh, this is not going to come out anytime soon. Um, so nice and tight. And now uh, what we had to do, and you'll notice here that we pre-secure uh, the upper brackets uh, the reason we did that, of course, is to know that it fits. And we must note that we're not going to use the original hardware. And it's not that the original hardware isn't good. It is just that Shelly's bike has got some extensions on it, uh, on the upper brackets for, uh, to allow her to fit a removable, um, bike rack or even a, a removable backrest. So it extends us out the original um uh, screws that came with the package are for someone that doesn't have that so we're going to reuse the existing hardware it's just as good the precaution we're going to do this time is we're going to we're going to remove disassemble it and put some red tread locker so that it sits there and Shelly never has a problem with those bags again all right, we are back. We did uh, one more attachment and we wanted to show how we do with the tread lock. The faithful tread lock, right, Shelly? Yeah. Remember? Tread lock. <laughs> tread lock, tread locker does everything. This one's the nice one, it's the gel. So it doesn't drip everywhere, but you have to take time to spread it evenly at the surface of contact. So wherever the thread of the screw is going to meet the thread of the of the uh, the host, if you will, or the bolt on the other side of the bike. So I'm uh, being quite liberal with this. I um, want to make sure that this doesn't come off, okay? And then, yeah, Shelly has a tendency to lose these things. So she loves to spread her, her equipment all over the road. It's usually... Uh, you know, there are some casualties to that. Um, usually it's us in the back. So anyway, it is life, right? Life with Shelly. Um, yeah, we're going on this side here. So this surface here and this surface here is different. This is the surface that's going to make contact with the uh, hardware on the bike. So we're going to thread it right through. And we're just going to fix it by hand at first uh, we might need to loosen up the front one a little bit just a tiny tiny bit we're still able to move it around a bit i may have gone a little too uh too um aggressively at first so here we go we are treaded in right 
So here we go. So we're treading it in place. Now let's go back to the other side. We'll finish that. So we kind of applied the pressure evenly, right? And again, like last time, like we did earlier here on the bottom bracket, we're probably, we're going to apply a good, probably a 50 pound on the, uh, on the guessometer, the guess torque so, wrench. Again, it's basically, beep, it's beep, just beep, experience. Beep, click, and, click, click, click. There oh, it is. We're in. And again, you want to go in a, in a pattern. You don't want to just do the one, um, uh, tread and bolt at one time. So go in a pattern and go back and forth to and make sure it's nice and evenly. And now you see that the rack is aligned with the bike. The space between the fender and all the parts of the rack is the same. So we're nice and straight. So that should give us a good result with our bags. So our next step will be to attach the two, um, the two connecting bracket, the one that are connecting to the bag. I don't know if that's the exact uh, name of these, but that's how I'll refer to them. We're going to put them in place. That will attach to the two upper parts of the bag. And the bottom bag is going to sit on the bottom part of the rail with some dampers that we see here. Those uh, precious damper, sometimes they fall off, right? But they're there to drain uh, the bag if we ever needed to, but it's also to affix, most importantly, the bottom of the bag to the, to the frame. It, it the also bike. helps, uh, obviously, the bags with the vibration of the bike. So yes. if you ever hit the railing on the bottom, yeah. it won't damage the bag. And Alrighty, so we are on the next step here. And uh, you see, seen I put it on the blanket down there just to, to play it safe because the last thing you, you want is to have new bags and then you drop them just like I have them on a blanket over there. You always want to protect your bags, your tank and everything like that. Oh. So what we did is uh, we started to line it up. And of course, again, once again, we have the red Loctite there. We just want to show you guys the process. So what did we do, Sylvan? Well, we've installed the, <coughs> the bag bracket themselves. Uh, not the rack, if you will, but rather the bracket that attach between the rack and the bag. Now, these are a bit tricky uh, to line up. It's not a perfect fit. So we, uh, we may have cheated a little bit, if you will, in that we attach the bracket to the bag and then um, attach the bracket to the, uh, the rack itself. So we're just about to tighten up the screws uh, that are provided. So let's just make sure here we're into the, uh, yeah, there you go. We're, we're going to tighten them up. So it's a bit tricky. Um, these are number 10 metric. And then um, we're just going to gently, they've been pre-threaded with the Loctite. And now we're just going to, screw them in until they're secure already so basically we secure them here and you guys can see the bag is coming nicely together and just for us to make it easier we took actually the back liner out so but the back liner is going to go back in right there right after we did the install and then we're just going to repeat the same steps on the other side and we'll show you the final product took us a little bit longer than expected but the second side went on pretty good there uh, the first one is always the hardest, but it's all done. So, Sylvan, let's just uh, go over the parts here, what we actually used. Yeah. So, add a few things. Um, very simple. I mean, we used a long nose plier. Actually, we didn't use these ones. I think just these ones. Uh, the long nose plier, we, we used to uh, remove and reaffix the, the cutter pin, if you will. We use a couple ratchet here, uh, different sizes. So, we have a... Uh, we have a number 10, we have that twice uh, to secure uh, the upper bracket to the, uh, to the rack. We use, uh, this one here is a 916. And the reason we use the 916 is we had to reuse some of the hardware uh, because of Shelly's bike setup being custom a bit where she can put a removable uh, sissy bar or a bike rack. Um, so as a result, she has some longer hardware, so we needed that uh, socket to remove and we uh, reused it. Um, other than that, uh, this piece here, we have a Torque 20 that we used to um, affix the 
um, uh, this piece here, I, I don't know how you call that, Addy. Um, if we look inside, we have this little flap that holds the lid in place. So uh, we removed it and reattach the uh, liner. The liner was not attached to it, I guess, for several reasons. Some people may wish to not have the uh, the liner. So and I guess it was also not attached for the people who want to put the, the black hardware on oh, where we left the chrome one on. Exactly. So, so here we go. Uh, that's why we use that. Now, uh, like I said, some of the hardware wasn't used, some of the spacer weren't used. Uh, so we have a few extra pieces here, um, but it's very nice, you know, the company that produced these, um, they, uh, they, uh, they provided extra hardware, so, you know, at least we didn't have to go to the store and get anything to complete the job. Um, we didn't use the black uh, lock device, if, um, I think the, the, the latches, the latches, the bracket. Yeah, uh, we didn't use them because we wanted to have the chrome, and then um, other than that, it needs a bit of patience. Uh, it's a bit light on the instruction. We had to figure it out ourselves, being that we had a different setup on the bike. But if you look at it right now, so again, the setup that Shelly has right now, she can still put a sissy bar on, and she still can put a lucky track on as well, uh, backrest or anything like that. But yeah, here is the. Here is the finished product, and again, let's just point those out again, Sylvain, if you could. Yes, so we got the bags, um, we got the uh, the rack, if you will, the upper brackets. Uh, these are finicky. We found that um, we found that attaching the brackets, the upper bracket, directly to the bag, and then positioning the bag on the rack was the best solution. Um, there, it's a tight fit, and that's why it fits so well. Very sturdy, holds in place nicely, uh, but it takes patience. You know, this is not your, uh, this is not a five-minute job, and definitely not alone. A second pair of hands was uh, quite helpful. So, so again, it's basically done now, and uh, let me just uh, show you guys the, the finished product here. And again, we decided to go with the, the chrome latches. Uh, because she has quite some chrome on it and I think it just makes a beautiful little contrast here right there that looks way nicer we figured than all blacked out and even if she ordered or we ordered actually everything in black I think that's uh, this is how it worked out very very well and again if you look at the whole bike now so she has the Hawkworks uh, fairing in the front and the nasty hawk backs in the back now, but it looks absolutely stunning. Great job, Sylvan. So, Shelley, what do you think? It's amazing. I, I love, I love what you guys did. It, it looks like they, they were meant for the, the bike, like they were built with the bike. Well, thank you. Yeah, you sure guys, happy. thank you so much. <laughs> I'm most... so excited about riding this summer. Like, we're going to have such a great time. Fantastic. Why don't we take a look at it when you stand it right up? Okay. Yeah, you can see. So, they just yeah, maybe we're gonna see a visual. Blend. Yeah, yeah, we're gonna see a visual mm -hmm. right up here. You see how tight this is? Symmetrical, perfectly fitted. Yeah, you guys did great. Wow, fantastic! Thank you Truly. so much. While we at it, check out the new merch: the hats, the t-shirts, t-shirts over there. Check out t-shirts, <laughs> hats. Make sure you check it out. I'm gonna stickers. put a link on the bottom. There's stickers, hats, t-shirts. Again, link on the bottom and in the yeah. description. Yeah. And Shelly, how about you just rip it up and down the street so we <laughs> okay. can see it in action? I will. <laughs> All right, let's do this. Thanks. Thanks for watching, guys. Please like and subscribe. And leave a comment down below and ask us any questions about the bags. If you guys, if then I'm going to put the description and link in the bottom. Nasty Hawk out of Sacramento, California. We'll see you in the next one. Yeah. Bike, the bike is alive, so let's just check it out. Alright guys, like we said, thanks for watching. Hope you guys liked it. Please like and subscribe. Leave a comment down below. And we'll see you on the next video. See you down the road.
Look at this thing, eh? Now let me just get familiar with it again. Of course, it's gonna give me a little bit. <laughs>